Hi everyone. Welcome to Artsonia's After School Art Club. Today, we have a fun art project from Miss Toops, an art teacher from Texas. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Artsonia gallery. Hi, I'm Mrs. Stoops. I teach at First Baptist Academy in Houston, Texas. Let's see what our project is for today. In today's project, we're gonna be making glowfish. Aren't they so cool? There are fish at the bottom of the ocean in the very, very depths that are, it's dark down there and they emit light. It's pretty amazing. Let's go ahead and draw some. For this project, you're gonna need a outline of a fish. You can draw this yourself if you like. A scratch paper and a black paper, as well as pastels. These are chalk pastels and some scissors. So the first thing we need to do is we need to cut out our fish. So if you draw your own fish, that's totally fine. I just went on the internet and Googled outline of fish and this little guy came up. And I only want the outline. I don't need the scales or the eyes or anything in, in the middle. All I need is the outline. So I'm gonna go ahead and carefully cut that out. Now mine is pretty small so that I could get a couple of them on my paper. But if you wanted to make one giant glowfish, you could make it super sized. Almost there. There we go. There's our goldfish. Okay. Now I'm going to need my scrap paper. I'm going to move my black paper out of the way because I don't want it to get any marks on it. So I'm going to start by picking out a colored pastel that's nice and bright. I would avoid using the darker colors. Um, maybe you could practice with them, but you want to use light colors. So I'm going to actually start off with this yellow. This one looks good. And what I need to do is on top of my fish, I need to give him some yellow at the edge. So notice it's on top. It doesn't matter if I get some on the scrap paper because this is just scrap paper. But I need it to be on the fish. Don't try and trace around the fish. That doesn't help you to get enough chalk on your fish. Okay, just hold them down and go around the edges. go. There's my fish. I got some chalk on him. Push that aside. Bring back my black paper. And I'm just going to put my yellow down because I'm going to use it again in a second. And I'm going to decide where I want this fish to go. I think I'd like him to go right here. With one finger, I'm going to hold him down. And then the other finger, I'm going to push off that yellow. That's what's going to create that um, illuminating glow of the fish go all the way around make sure you don't move your fish you need him to stay still and there's my first fish there we go be careful with your hands they're chalky and you don't want chalk on all over the place all right now I'm gonna go ahead and do another one bring back my scrap of paper and I still need that yellow so I'm gonna hold it out and I'm gonna use I think I'd like to use this lime green color now it's okay if you go over top this because it's going to cover up the yellow we already used. Okay. Over top. Don't forget any spots. And if you're going to turn, turn the whole scrap paper because you don't really want to get chalk on the back of your fish. You need it to stay all in the front of the fish so the back stays somewhat clean. Otherwise, you'll get little streaks of chalk on your black where you don't want it. There we go. Keep that chalk aside bring back my plaque. Now this fish is going this way, but if I wanted, I can move this one upside down and make him go that way, which I think I'm going to go ahead and do. So then I'm going to push off that green. And you can just keep reusing this fish if you like. And blow to get all your extra dust off. All right. Now I'm going to go back to my colors. Remember this one was a yellow fish? So I'm going to take my yellow pastel and I'm actually going to trace the inside of the fish right where the brilliant part, the illuminating part meets the fish outline. You just got to take your time here and be really steady. We 
we go. That's my first one. Now I'm going to say on this one, he has a floating um, light, kind of like the one we saw in a certain movie. And then I'm going to color it in nice and bright. Blow away all my extra dust. And just right here, I want this to illuminate like we did here, but I need the whole thing to be bright. So I'm going to push away the color like it's a floating light. I'm going to come back and I'm going to give him an eye. And then I'm going to give him some fish scales. These are just really simple curved line fish scales. All right, I'm going to go try the green one. Now you can do as many fish as you like. You could even make your black paper much bigger than I made mine. Or maybe you could put these fish in a bowl. Completely up to you. There are lots of way to, ways to change this project to make it just your own. Blow the extra away. <sighs> okay. Next, I'm going to make this one a glowing fish. So I'm going to add that these glowing dots that go down his back and up his side and right down the middle. Give him an eye. There we go. This is a fun and simple project, and you could do this with almost any outline. You could do it with a flower or a tree. Um, anything you can draw and color, you can use it as an outline. I've seen people do this with mountains, uh, cities, and even lights. I hope you had a great time. Have a good day. Bye.